I love Harry Benson. I think I'm probably about a half a bump from being in love with Harry Benson. <laughs> Harry is iconic, taking pictures of a lot of icons. I think it's rare that you know in the moment that a moment is going to be legendary. There's also Harry's range and versatility. Harry could do it all. He's one of the great photojournalists of all time, and yet people think Beatles. They said the other photographer was ugly, and the one thing you couldn't be around the Beatles was ugly. There are no images of the Beatles that gain the intimacy that Harry's photographs have done. Benson is there with the ultimate subjects, which are people who are at the peak of their media centricity. They can be celebrities, but they have to be someone I think he is attracted to. Nobody's more reclusive than Bobby Fischer. He allows Harry to photograph him for days. Take a look at the picture. Take a close look. <laughs> oh my God. He could but, say it was a no one earlier that day. <laughs> he puts people at ease, and you can see that in his work. Some great photographers I like to think just had a camera all the time, and a moment happened and they got it. Harry, you always know that's true. If I don't take a photograph, I've made a terrible mistake. I photograph what I see, and what I see should inform. The first shot that I saw of the senator lying was Harry's shot. No matter what your personal feelings may be, you realize that this is something that you have to document. You could argue that he's got nothing left to prove, but Harry still feels every day that there's something to prove. I've been debunked already. He loves to photograph people who are bigger than life. This guy with a Scots accent and a green handkerchief. He was the guy everyone else tried to beat. It's about his pictures, but it's also about him as a person. Harry has a special sense of compassion for the people who he's photographing. He does get the joke about life, and I think he finds that in his subject so often. Could they believe it, James Brown doing the splits in your yard? They're going to talk about that forever. Forever.